Hi everyone, my name is Vanessa Carell. To start things off, why don't I tell you a little bit about myself. I am a mother of two adorable chihuahuas, Rico and Zadie. I work three jobs, one full-time and two part-time. I am currently a business student at Central Community College in Holdridge, which brings me to why I am here today. I have been asked to come and speak to you guys about ethics, politics, and diversity. Now, it would be greatly appreciated if you could hold all questions till the end, and I will make sure to answer as many as I can. The handouts that are coming around are an exact copy of the presentation I have prepared for you today, so that you may follow along and take notes if you would like. I am sure many of you know what ethics are, or at least have a general idea. But how many of you have actually sat down and thought about how ethical each and every decision you make is? Just something to think about as I'm going into my presentation. If you were to grab an ordinary dictionary and look up ethics, this is what you would find. Ethics, moral principle that govern a person's or group's behavior. The moral correctness of specified conduct. And last, the branch of knowledge that deals with moral principles. If you look at the synonyms listed there, there is one that sticks out to me the most. It is dictates of conscience, which means to act what your conscience is telling you. When you were growing up, did you ever hear the phrase, do as I say, not as I do? This is pretty much what it means to be ethical. You need to do what your conscience is telling you, not what you see others doing. Ethics is a choice, a choice you choose to live by, and it's the correct way to conduct yourself at work and in business. It's a choice a company chooses to operate by. A good example of an organization's ethic policy is Transparency Internationals. Their vision is a world in which government, politics, business, civil society, and daily lives of people are free from corruption. That can't happen unless people act ethically. A company must have an ethical framework, a corporate culture, and an ethics statement to enforce policies to prevent corruption. Because corruption is destruction, and destruction of everything the company worked to build. Which brings me to my next topic, politics. Politics is the act of obtaining and using power. Politics is not a bad thing. It's just important that the power obtained is utilized properly. It is when someone expects certain obligations for favors that danger of politics shows and corruption is most likely to happen. If you think about it, most, if not all, corruption comes from power. To gain power, you must gain knowledge. And this is where the ethics decision comes into play. Information equals power, and power equals politics. The complexity of politics depends on the size of the company. The bigger the company, the more complex the politics are going to be, due to the fact that there is more to gain and way more to lose. Also, with bigger companies, there is more diversity, which happens to be my last topic. You may know the basics of diversity, such as race, gender, and financial background, but did you know that it can go as far as the way you style your hair and the clothes you wear? Things you may not even know make a difference. There are a couple important things to remember regarding diversity, especially in the workplace. Remember, no matter what the difference is, treat everyone with respect and professionalism. Embrace diversity in order to utilize the difference in a creative and innovative way. And finally, diversity should never become a personal judgment issue. The only problem that should come from diversity is if it negatively affects the job performance. Diversity in the workplace is a great thing and it aids businesses in many ways such as driving economic growth, capturing more of the, of the consumer market, recruiting more qualified workers, and avoiding high employee turnover rates, which is not only good for the company, but also great for our economy. 
No matter how big or how small an organization is, it is a fragile system. How many things go into play when trying to gain and keep businesses? Ethics, politics, and diversity play a huge part in what you as an employee can contribute. Next time you go to make a big decision for your company or are asked to do something you're unsure of, remember to listen to your conscience and ask yourself these three questions. Is it legal? Is it fair to all parties involved? And how does it make you feel?